Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Uncle Matt's Cookery Lessons. Going to be making an incredible burger, the Oklahoma Burger, and it is stunning. Hello, in this video I'm going to make the Oklahoma Burger which is basically onions and a beef burger patty, and it's really lovely. Okay, I decided to make my own patty, so you'll see me preparing the meat that I've chosen. I've got some brisket there, sirloin and braising steak. So while you see me dicing that up nice and small because it's gonna go in the freezer, a little history for you. So there's a little restaurant called the ha uh, Hamburger Inn on Route 60, it's in El Reno, and a chap there called Ross Davis started to notice how expensive meat got after uh, when they hit the Great Depression after Black Thursday 1929 in October and he started bulking out his diner style burgers which are effectively a smash burger with onions and then people realized they were really rather delicious so word grew around the area and other restaurants started copying the idea and a legend has been born the Oklahoma burger it is very much on vogue at the moment and I love it so that is me preparing the sirloin that bit and that's the silver skin underneath the fat there So I just took that bit out and if you've got a dog, you know, they'll appreciate that wouldn't they? So in the freezer with the meat have a little clean down and some onions So I thought I'd show you, you know with a knife doing it nice and fine But then it's much easier if you've got one of these Japanese finger slices or a mandolin I use the guard so I don't slice my fingers and just get loads of that onion nice and finely shredded and then you're going to make special sauce or burger sauce. So that is a pickled gherkin, which is gherkin, pickle, whatever you want to call it. Chop that up. A mixture of mayonnaise and ketchup. You decide the ratio. I go a little bit more mayo than ketchup. Some Dijon mustard, some Tabasco sauce, some of the pickle juice and the chopped up pickles. Give that a season and that is your burger sauce ready to go. And that's very nice. So this is the mincing or grinding attachments for my KitchenAid, which have also been in the freezer for about an hour actually, completely chilled because the more cold the meat and the grinding attachments, the nicer the mince will be. The fat won't get all sort of melted and squishy. And you might think that looks disgusting, but I think that looks quite nice. But my lady thought it was horrible. She couldn't bear to look at the mince being made, but I'm very pleased with that. And that went through on the coarser setting. I'm not sure how many settings you'll have on yours. I only had two, fine and coarse, so I went coarse. Seasoning the tomato and that's controversial apparently I make TikTok videos as well And I've got quite a few people saying that tomato should be nowhere near a burger So if you don't like that don't do it. That's fine I won't get upset and that's some iceberg lettuce that I just roughly shredded and I thought get that in nice cold water to get it all nice and fresh I think if we're if we're making the best burger in the world, yes, the best burger in the world, we should you know, take a bit of time on the accoutrement to make sure it's as nice as it can be as well Toasting the brioche bun, you don't have to toast your buns, but I think they're better. I just think they're better for a burger. Yeah, up to you, you decide. And I just wanted a bit of fat on the griddle, so I used a bit of lard, but you could just smear a bit of high smoke point oil, that would be fine. This is where we put the seasoning with these, this effectively, it's a smash burger, on the outside. If you season the inside of the patty, it's going to get all tough and rubbery, and it won't be nice and delicate like a burger should be. So season only the outside, a pile up of onions, I told you it had a lot of onions in it, and just get to squishing and smashing and squashing these burgers. The more you squish and squash them, the more surface area of the burger is going to get really, really caramelised. They call it the Maillard reaction, and that's that super umami thing that makes you just go, oh, yeah, that's nice. So that's what we're doing here, because, you know, why wouldn't you? So I keep smashing away. And these are going to cook probably about sort of three quarters of the way on the meat side because of obvious reasons the onion will just burn if it's on the other side for too long. But have a little peeky poo under there. How's it looking? Yeah, it looked good. Oh, yes. Flip them over for the final bit there. Bit of seasoning again on the outside. And I couldn't find American cheese, so that's Monterey Jack, which I believe is acceptable. And there's the final look of those before... I'm going to stack one on top of the other. And I mean, you can't really say it's pretty as such, but I just think it's gorgeous. So that's ready for the bun. So assembly time. Take, a, take your time. 
get a nice bit of burger sauce on there. Tomato if you want it or not, it's up to you. Plenty of the lettuce. Those are toppings, but I put them on the bottoming. Bottoming? So they're bottomings. Oh my God, get me teeth in. A bit of pickle on top and a bit more burger sauce than that. And oh my goodness, it's a mouthful. I'm going to manage. I'm going to just basically take a whacking great big bite of that. And then I'm going to hand you back over to me for the tasting. Oh my God. Oh. And I just have that bit. So, I don't know. What do you think? Is the Oklahoma burger rather nice? Oh my God. <laughs> mm. Well done, the Americans again, you know, come up with a few good dishes there. The Oklahoma burger being definitely one of those. Anyway, I hope you give it a go. Let me know how you get on, and I will see you in the next video coming up really soon while I just do some damage to this.